Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and an amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about M1 Finance. We're going to be seeing if it's worth it or if it's better just to not mess with it and find something else. And we're going to be finding things that you must know before you guys begin or you guys even want to think about using M1 Finance. So before we jump into the episode, I need you guys to do me a favor. Go ahead, smash the like button. If you guys smash it, then other people will see this video and help them invest and help everyone everybody make more more money more money guys that's that's our goal when we invest we want to make money all right so let's jump into the episode i hope you guys enjoy it roll the intro let's go bam so m1 finance i recently came across it on the app store and i decided what the heck let's make a video on this i opened up an account and i kind of just started going through the process of doing it and honestly it was a pretty cool app, I'm not gonna lie. They make it super, super easy to invest. That's their goal. I really do think they're easier than Robinhood. The reason why I say that is because on Robinhood, you have to pick the stocks, you have to buy them, you have to sell them. On M1 Finance, it's almost like a robo-advisor. So it's kind of like you just give them a reoccurring investment, you tell them the stocks that you guys wanna buy, some of the ETFs and some of the funds you guys wanna buy, and they take care of it. And what's really, really awesome is they don't charge any fees, they don't charge any commission, it's all straight profit or loss. That's that's awesome, it's literally amazing. So now after you guys sign up, you guys can kind of pick which pie you want to start investing in. No, we're not gonna be picking like apple pie, blueberry pie, we're gonna be pretty much finding different types of risk levels. So if you're somebody who's super risky, you can go ahead and pick all the stocks that you guys want to invest in. But if you're somebody who's more conservative, someone who's moderately conservative, they have different asset classes that really just, you give them the money, they put the money in, all the funds, bonds, and stocks, and you don't have to worry about it. So it's super convenient and it's super simple. Now another thing that's really awesome is you can have the auto invest on or off. So what this means, is as you own stocks, you guys get a ton of features. You guys get dividends, you guys get price movement, volatility, you know, and when you guys get a dividend, you can either take it, reinvest it, which I would highly recommend because on average you get anywhere from three to 4% more per year by doing that. So it's literally how you compound your money because that dividend is gonna start owning other shares and it's gonna be making you more dividends and more and it's just a reoccurring thing and you just make a lot more money doing that way. You can turn it on where if you guys want that money to be reinvested or you can just turn it off and it will send it right to your broker's account and you can transfer it to your bank, reinvest it or do whatever you guys wanna do. So it's super, super convenient, super simple. Now as you guys start signing up, what they have is honestly pretty cool. They have a variety of investment accounts. So you can just have a standard investment account, you can have a trust account, an IRA account. So honestly, it's a lot better than Robinhood in that sense, in my opinion. Just because on Robinhood, you only have that investment account. You can't set up an IRA account. You can't set up a trust account. You can't set up an account for somebody else. On M1 Finance, they make it super simple to actually go ahead, pick out the account you want, and if that's say you want to put uh, a certain amount of money in your IRA account, a certain amount of money in your uh, investment account, they make it super simple, so you can kind of pick and choose, honestly, and you can pick which stocks go in which, which is very convenient. Now, why M1 Finance stands out from a lot of other brokers is because of fraction shares. I cannot tell you how amazing fraction shares are. I'm gonna give you an example. Imagine if you wanted to buy a share of Apple. Okay, Apple trades at roughly like $300 or so. I'm not sure what it is right now. But imagine you only have $50. Most people can't invest that. You know, you, you can't get it even, you won't get any shares filled or whatever. But if you want to use a fraction share, you can own a fraction of Apple of $50 worth. So yeah, that might only be like zero point zero two percent of a share but it's better than nothing and then when apple releases a dividend you just get that dividend fraction down so it's super simple and they make it very easy so you can start out investing with little money and it's not too complicated or it's they make it very simple now another cool thing that they do have i personally haven't signed up i haven't even really looked at it but it's the m1 spend so this is very similar to like the robin hood debit card 
where you have a debit card hooked to your broker's account. So when you guys put uh, money on your account, you can either use it as a debit card or you can just invest it into stocks, bonds, and whatever you guys want to. But I wouldn't recommend this, I mean, just because they do charge $125 per year and you only get a high interest of like 1.8%, so it's not, the best in my opinion. Now, after you guys sign up with M1 Finance and you pick out which account you guys want, so if that's say you just picked out a general investment account like I did, the next step is to figure out which pie you want. No, it's, it's not the apple or cherry pies. It's not that, don't, don't think it is. It's how risky and how conservative you are. Or if you just wanna put money in stocks, you can do that. They make it very simple and you can start establishing more assets and you can start making money in other ways. Now, after you guys pick out your investment account, next step is to figure out what type of investor you are and kind of pick out which stocks and what percentage of your funds go into which stock so it's super convenient it's very easy as we start picking out which pie we want uh, they make it very easy if you guys want to invest let's say you guys wanted to invest a hundred dollars per week into m1 finance but let's say you guys only wanted 10 percent to go to apple 10 percent go to s p 500 and 80 percent go to tesla i'm just giving an example they make it very easy to distribute your funds to whatever type of assets you guys want to start investing in it's very simple it's not too complicated obviously if you guys don't want to pick what stocks you guys want to own they have pies set up so if you're moderately conservative if you're aggressive, more conservative, you can pick out which pies you guys wanna pick from and they tell you all the stocks and bonds that you're investing in so you're not just going into a blind. Because on Acorns, that's kind of what you're doing. They do tell you what you're going into, but they don't give you the stocks, they don't give you the bonds, they don't give you anything. So this is a little better, it's a little more enhanced and they tell you a little more information. So what are the benefits, what are the pros and cons of using M1 Finance? Because that's what you guys wanted to know. What must you know before you use it? What are the pros, what are the cons, or what are the drawbacks? So we're gonna start off with the pros. The very first thing, no commission for trades. Very simple, it's like Robinhood, a little better because they do have this, Fraction shares. Fraction shares are amazing. We talked about it a little back in the video, so you guys can go ahead and rewatch it if you guys don't know what it does. Another thing they have is they don't have any monthly fees or any annual fees. Now, some accounts, not Robinhood, but some accounts do charge monthly fees or annual fees, but on M1 Finance, it's completely free. So don't feel like when you sign up, you have to start investing. Take your time, go slower, because there's no race, just investing is great. Now compared to like Acorns, Acorns charges a monthly fee. And on M1 Finance, you get to pick the stocks you want, you get to pick your assets, you get to pick your bonds, and they don't charge anything for it. So why wouldn't you at least try it out? Now, we kind of already talked about it. They had the automated investing, which which pretty much means that for every dividend you get, you can either reinvest it or you can just send it to your bank. But I would highly recommend reinvesting it just because it, it's a lot better. Now, so another cool thing that they do have is they have many risk profiles. So if you're somebody who's super risky, let's go, let's go crazy, then you ha they have a profile for you. They have, you know, somebody who's a little more conservative, somebody who's very conservative. And how do you know if you're aggressive, moderately conservative, or conservative? Here's what I would do. I go by age. So me being only 20 years old, I'm aggressive. I have 40 years to kind of risk money. You know what I mean? Because I'm not close to retirement. If I was close to re retirement, then I'd be more conservative. Retirement's coming up. I just want a nice little um, investment account that's growing and because I'm almost ready to retire. But I have a long time before I even think about uh, retirement so I can be a lot more risky with my money. Now, they also do have that fraction shares. Fraction shares is awesome. It's, it's a great thumbs up. You can invest in almost any stock with as little as like $5. It's amazing. Now, if you're somebody who wants to start investing with borrowed money, M1 Finance is the honestly probably the best place to go. You can get up to 35% of your account and you do have to have over $10,000 in your account. So starting out, most of you are not gonna be able to do this, but if you're somebody who's just, I'm just, I have a lot more money, I wanna risk more, then obviously you can use borrowed money. Now obviously with that borrowed money, you know they're gonna be charging you a fee or interest to use it because it's like a line of credit. It's like a credit card. Look at it like that. They're gonna give you that say $3,500 at a 6% interest rate and you guys have to make that back um, 
as fast as you can. That's what I, I wouldn't even recommend doing it in my opinion. So who's gonna benefit and who's not gonna benefit from M1 Finance? The people who are not gonna benefit are the people who actually trade and day trade stocks. Now, if you're somebody who's just, I wanna start investing, I don't know where to go, M1 Finance is the place to go, but if you're like, I know what stocks I wanna buy, I wanna get in and out of positions, not the best because they have trade windows and you can't really pick. They kinda of do a lot of it for you because they make it very simple, it's very beginner friendly. And if you are somebody who's, ah, I, I don't know what I'm doing, I kind of want to invest in these stocks, you know, maybe someone told me about them, I want to invest in it. M1 Finance is the best place. And if you guys want to sign up, you guys can get $10. I'm not sponsored, but I do have a referral code. So it's a big thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated, guys. I love it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. But overall, if I was going to give M1 Finance a grade, if I was going to rate them out of five, maybe a 4.5 out of five. The reason why is obviously it's not the best. It's not like the best. There's no best broker out there. There's some drawbacks with it, but overall it is still a great platform and I would highly recommend it to everyone. So we'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.